Today I'm going to be talking about the two fundamental contributors to mental health issues in young people today. And I can only speak from personal experiences. I obviously can't speak for those who suffer from mental health issues who are older. Um, but I'm sure, you know, some of the things might strongly resonate uh, with what I'm about to say. So the first one's very obvious. The first one is social media. As we all know, social media can be two things. It can be extremely beneficial with communicating for people all over the world, and it can also be very damaging. And I think that depends strongly on where you are in your personal journey. Everyone's different, but especially when you are more vulnerable, suffering mental health issues, um, no matter what people say to you, if people say how amazing, how wonderful you are from friends or family, it just doesn't it doesn't stick in. It just doesn't. It, your brain doesn't allow it, that, that positive energy into your life, it doesn't allow it in. It blocks it all out. So the only things you have going on is what you're seeing. And when you are suffering, you're only seeing things in a very bad light. So, and you always think of the worst things. So when you are seeing these people, all these models, social media stars, you are seeing them living their luxury lifestyles with all their followers. And thoughts that automatically pop into your head will be like, I'm never going to have that sort of lifestyle. I'm never going to be like that. My life's boring. My, life's my, my, my life is mundane. All these sudden things make us feel like we're really unworthy. And as you can imagine, this just ruminates in our heads over and over. Uh, and because of that, it makes us feel 10 times worse than we first looked at that post. So we always, can, when we see these photos and videos and all these followers, all these social media stars, we always, A, think, I'm never going to have that. And B, we always think, I'm never going to be like that. And that's two very toxic thought processes because we see those people, you know, as very admirable. And depending on who the person is, you know, a lot of the time you don't know what struggles they've been through. We're only comparing ourselves to their outcome, not their processes. So, you know, they might have been through hell and back and they've, and they've gotten where they are. So if you were to compare yourself in the hell they went through, you would think twice. But when you are sucked into a negativity vacuum in your head, you don't think like that at all. You only think, you only see it at face value. You don't actually think of it from a different perspective. Um, so that is social, the social media side of it. And it's not as easy as just let's switch it off. Oh yeah, what Jack's just said, you know, I'm not going to see it like that now. Uh, it's, it's not as easy as that. It takes a while to kind of, learn and kind of nail it but uh that's just the whole reason why i think social media contributes to people on social media and having such a bad impact on their mental health uh, but the second one which isn't so talked about um, but it is very relatable to many people is young people feel so rushed in society so when you go to school i mean for people who leave school when they're 16 not many 16 year olds know what they want to do and you're in out in the big bad world with no real maturity no life experiences to be honest uh very few anyway um so that can be very daunting but from you know a perspective that i've gone through is people go to university uh, or just even do a levels after school you're rushed into all these huge decisions choosing your a levels b tech choosing what course you want to do at uni and because you're so rushed, you don't know what you want to do. You might think you do, but the, the truth is you probably don't. And schools like my school I went to, don't know about anyone else, but got absolutely no support out there in terms of you know career choices, absolutely none. So you're left to make these decisions by yourself based on kind of things you're kind of going off half-heartedly. So you go to uni or you come out of school and you try and go in things you, you think you want to do, but you don't um, and because of that you have no direction you have no purpose uh, because you're like where is my life going and all these thoughts keep going on your head and because of that and life is life is a struggle and especially when you don't have all that purpose or direction it feels like it's just pulling you down more and more and all these feelings of you feel pulled down more and more makes you think I can't get out of this um, and then that, along with the social media side of it, is seeing other people's outcomes, you think, oh my, I'm never gonna have that. Um, so because of that, you know, you feel so sucked into, I'm never gonna have this, I'm never gonna have that. And because of that, you know, life gets too overwhelming. And because of that, mental health issues start to pop up, you feel bad about yourself, you go into a state of depression, uh, your anxiety spikes up, 
because you're so on edge about not knowing what you want in life. Um, so for me, they would be two really fundamental contributors on why there's such um, a mental health issue out there. It'd be interesting um, if anyone else has any inputs on that as well. But from my past experiences of social media and not having real sense of purpose, feeling so rushed into society, not having a scooby-doo what I wanted to do, that's what really contributed to my mental health issues. Um, so if you do have anything else to comment on it, I would be very interested to, to hear. Um, but yes, I think hopefully that can allow kind of as well people to resonate with that because I feel a lot of people do feel a bit overwhelmed by feeling so rushed in life and not having any idea what they want to do. Um, so hopefully that, that does give some sort of a benefit um, in allowing kind of why, you know, there is a problem with mental health issues. So thank you for listening and I hope you get some great use out of that. And if you do have any questions, obviously feel free to let me know uh, and ask anything.